Paul, we're at Base Camp North in uh, North Lakes. Uh, you used to have a traditional, I think, three-group head machine here. Yeah, that's right. What's the difference now that the Enigma's installed? Well, it's consolidated a lot of bench space. Obviously, we would have had a separate grinder uh, and a machine. Um, the quality control points of those two things were separated. Now it's just one, uh, which is a, a great benefit. Um, speed has improved on, on, on this machine. This two group actually outperforms a three group significantly. Um, and it does so in a sort of passive way. We can kind of begin a process whilst that's passively taking place, start another process, line up charts, that sort of thing. Um, inconsistency on the manual machine is always a problem. So, you know, you have to measure out every single dose. Yields vary about as much as, the, as, they, as they tend to. Um, on this machine, those two problems don't seem to be there. Um, yield outcome is good. Dose is good. The fact that we can just, with the touch of a button, distribute hot milk ready to pour without having to physically steam it, that's a cheap benefit too. We've gained a lot of um, space and it's a good place. Paul, I know that you've just brought on some new staff. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the training regime that you had to do to make sure that you had everyone ready to go. Yeah, it's a, a significant improvement. So um, I've, I've trained a lot of baristas um, and, and that, that training cycle, that paid training cycle is typically two to three weeks, that it takes a while. Um, with this, because of the guardrails we've put in place and the setup, we've dictated how the machine is going to perform uh, and all we really need to do is get baristas familiar with the interface uh, and we know with that that we can guarantee a certain type of quality out of the machine. I, I think it would take, it hasn't really taken more than an hour to get the same outcome out of each member where that process would normally take two weeks to train someone. Paul, I noticed you've got the uh, three times 10 litre milk bladder uh, mm. fridge by Tiger Coffee there. Yeah. Um, how does that work within the overall um, setup? Yeah, so we, we make coffee a little bit differently to most cafes. We only have two sizes, they're not particularly large. Um, we've got a six ounce and a 10 ounce. Uh, the tolerance of the dose of hot milk is uh, pretty much accurate to our cup volume. Uh, we have two steam arms that deliver the hot milk into the jugs and then we pour. That process has sped us up significantly. There's no, no longer steaming large jugs and splitting. There's, there's none of that. We just have a machine that doses the milk exactly as we need. And the, the net benefit is just speed. I mean, and, and the passive nature of it. I, I can get a coffee started. I can get four coffees started and I can bounce, perform another task, come back and everything's ready for me just to combine. Um, and you, know, you can't do that with a manual machine. You have to be hands-on, sticking, splitting. That all goes away. So the, the milk blender system is yeah, hugely beneficial. Can you take us through the process of making a coffee? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's not difficult at all. So I've got my, my jugs warmed on top of the machine. I can just grab a jug. And within two buttons, that's all ready to go. So in this time, if a customer was to approach the point of sale, I can move away and know that this is taken care of. In this time, I can be plating up, getting things presented, ready to go. Um, the, the milk is dispensing at exactly the temperature we need. I'm agitating because that's a force of habit, but you can just leave it completely alone. Yeah, so whilst this process is happening, I'm free. I don't have to do anything. If more copies are up on the machine, I can I can get those prepared. So you can see how my output gets increased by this. If I've got alternate milks on, I can be steaming those. There's no wiping a nozzle, nothing like that. I'm ready to go. That's ready to go. That's within tolerance, so 28 seconds. It's a perfect cup of coffee. You can see the quality of the milk, the temperature's right. All I'm doing, pouring directly in. I tend to pour to about three quarters. Here we go. I mean, that. It's a 
as good as you'll get from a manual machine, but with about 10% of the work. So Paul, how many kilos a week does the uh, cafe do? And has it improved since you've we got do the Enigma? About 25 to 30 kilos at the moment. Before we installed the Enigma, we were using more than that, maybe 35 to 40 on a given week. Um, but when we when we measure how many coffees we produce over a week, it's about the same, maybe slightly more. So what we're getting is more out of less with the Enigma, way, way more. Paul, you're heading off to the UK uh, in 15 days. That's it. Uh, we, we know that you've been around traditional uh, barista machines mm -hmm. and also the Enigma Super Traditional. Yeah. Uh, what would you say to anyone um, when you head into the UK on what they should be doing? Well, I think if anyone's starting up a cafe, I think they would want to be looking at what is the general trajectory of labour relative to turnover and uh, uh, recognize that it's quite high and then think what they can do about that. Um, this machine solves for that problem 100%. I mean, the output that I can get as an individual behind here is equivalent to two, maybe three people. And that's a huge saving in a business. And, uh, the industry's going through a correction and these types of technologies are, are saving it. To be honest. So yeah, I recommend it.